Yes then guys, how we are doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. We are at that stage of the season where a lot of you guys like me are reaching the end of the season objective. It ends in 8 days and 15 hours and I've just managed to collect 100,000 XP. It sounds like a lot, but realistically, I've not really been focusing too much on it. I've mainly been unlocking them via the week 5 golds, etc. and a couple of other objectives. I don't really grind anything else apart from silver stars on here and I've still found my way there. But most importantly... Same as every season, we get to choose from a certain player pick. And the three options this uh, season round are decent. I mean, a lot of them are based around the squad foundations that have come out. So there's one EFL player, one Portuguese league player, and one Eredivisie player. And I'm pretty confident that Van Ginkel is the most popular out of all of them, purely because of the whole host of insane Eredivisie cards we've had over the past month. A lot of you guys probably have your eyes on this man. But me personally, I don't have a lot of Eredivisie cards. I've got a few, but... Not enough to allow me to want to get this man into my starting team. Grant, likewise, the freestyle freestyle puts me off a little bit. Six foot, not necessarily so good on the ball. The dribbling stats are a little bit like luster. For me personally, I'm going Brazilian. A bit of Samba flair is needed, potentially as a super sub. I am looking at this man right here, Lincoln. Now, high, medium, four-star, three-star looks pretty damn decent to me. And he is very well-rounded for a cab. Don't play him as a centre mid. The defending is absolutely shambolic. But he's got good stamina, amazing dribbling stats, 96 agility, decent uh, ball control, dribbling, composure, and balance. Passing stats, the great, the curve, the vision. Going forward, he should be consistent, potentially with a Hunter Chem style to boost up the pace and the shooting stats. We could have an absolutely lethal centre attacking midfielder on our hands. We've only got flair and a couple of CPU AI traits, but this man, 100% in my opinion, this is before actually trying the card out, so I'll give you another opinion at the end of this video. Looks like the best player to take here. So that's what we're doing, Lincoln getting the club mid. What do you guys think of the storyline card designs as well this year? It looks a little bit dull, a little bit grayscale to me. I don't know why. I prefer the designs last year where it's a bit more intense, a bit more harsh colours. I mean, it looks decent, it's a little bit unique, and I do like the dynamic image. But that is the man we're picking. Let's give me the boys I'm going to use him with. So the boys we are using in this little video, I am using a lone player. All right, I don't know where this Pele's come from. Honestly, I've not used him as of yet, but he has to be in here just to allow us to get Lincoln in on full chemistry. We also get Everton. This man does have a current objective that he can grind. You get his ice or fire version. A lot of you may have done that already. That is also a nice strong link into Lincoln. Uh, I didn't realise that. I only just realised I had the red player pick in my club. So we are doing that for this player. The rest of the boys, we've got Fakia, Kapue, Rio, Upa, Davies and Emi Martinez, Klaus. And then Big Kings, the Komen. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This team is ridiculously attacking. What I may do is sub off Everton for a CDM and move for Kia more up into the left attacking mid position. Before this, we are playing a 4-2-3-1 and Lincoln is in that cam roll. Pele up top. Komen and Everton are starting either side. And for Kia and Kapuwe are my CDMs. So according to Footbin, the go-to chemistry style is a Hunter Chem style. That's why I expected max out the pace and the shooting stats. Let's see what we're looking like with that chem style attached to the card. So, wow, yeah, this man is on, on paper, looks like he could be fantastic. The pace is pretty much maxed out. Most of the shooting stats are in the low to mid 90s now. He looks like he's got the dribbling and the passing stats. As a cam, I have super high hopes. So for this player view, I'm hopping into foot champs qualifications. I just got given a free win at the start of this. I'll take it. So hopefully my luck continues. But the first official game with Lincoln, I'm hoping, is not another free win. And I can actually go check this card out properly, boys. Okay, surely. Surely this man's staying in. And that red player pick luck is top tier. The boys are going, you know. The boys are going. Everton. And we're 1-0 up. That is one Brazilian Portuguese lad getting the goal. And it's our boy Everton. Nice first touch from the man. That's a fantastic through ball as well. Big Pele, he's moved the keeper and the lone icon gets his goal. And that is assist number one for Lincoln. The through ball was on a sixpence for the boy. The Brazilians, they're linking up. Nice little touch. It's a nice ball again, man. Our boy is pulling the strings. I've gone back to him. Oh, unlucky. Dribbling feels great on the card. He feels quick, he feels responsive. First touch, he cushions it nicely. Promising signs early doors. Over the top to Fakir. Decent little pick out. Come on now, Nabil. Over the keeper. I fluff my chance. He moved his goalie again. I knew he was going to do it. Oh, R9 gets the goal. 
My man's trying that corner glitch thing, that you know what you know what I'm on about. Um, but he ends up getting it with Ronaldo, fair play to him. I completely forgot for about 60 minutes in this game that he had R9 Ronaldo in front. What have I just seen then? What have I just seen? Oh boys, I don't know how we are losing this game of FIFA. We've thrown it away though, 2-0 up. We find ourselves 3-2 down. Oh, yes. The equaliser. Our boy Lincoln, no clue how that's gone in, but the power behind the shot carried it. Game on. What have I just seen again? This, this is ridiculous. The amount of deflections that have gone my opponent's way this game. And what have I just seen? We're playing like bobbleheads. The ball, we're doing a little, little head tennis of each other. Oh, Pele. Pele, Pele, Pele. That finish. I'm not going to lie to you. The game may have got to me a little bit there, lads. <laughs> I was getting a little carried away. We were throwing the kitchen sink at it. But it's game on again. Solid start. Lincoln bags it. Let's go. Come on up, boys. Composure. Ice in the veins. Where are we going? My man's going bottom left. He's going bottom left. I see it. Let's be having that. Yes, ice in the veins. We've got the lead so far. Ah. Stay down the middle. Yes, come on up, boys. Three for three so far. Oh, the last minute decision. This for the winner. It is Chong. Come on now. Come on, my son. Top right. Oh, damn it. Stay down the middle. Go to the right again, lads. Let's be having it. We get the W. I tell you what, <laughs> that was stressful. So one more game left with Pele. I don't care if I lose the loan card. We are going for the back-to-back -back W. I've had a little deep breath after the last game. Hopefully we can bounce back again. Okay, no, never mind. What is the state of this team? So my man has decided to quit at 0-0. Nice one. And that unfortunately means my Pele loan is no more. So we are going to struggle to get this man in on full chemistry. So for this last match, he's going to be used on the solid 7 Kev. But I'm sure he's going to do a fantastic job either way, guys. Come on now, let's get the W. All right, what we get? Okay, okay. It's unique, I respect it. Apart from the defence, everybody has that defence though. The rest of the team is pretty decent in form Neymar. Come on, Lincoln. Come on, Lincoln. Oh, everything but the finish. Super snappy dribbling, to be fair. He feels very, very liquid on the ball. You'd expect it with the dribbling stats that he's got. Give him go, maybe. Oh, it's perfectly weighted. The little dink. Not enough power on it. Did we get lucky? Still got the ball. Little one. And again to Lincoln. He's onside. And there is the goal. 1-0 lead, Lincoln gets the second for the club. And so I'm really enjoying this card, lads. I'm not going to lie to you. He get, it's not because he's Brazilian, by the way, but it gives me somewhat Ronaldinho vibes. The way he plays, the way he carries himself, like a baby Ronaldinho card. The finish has been good on the card as well, but the main thing, the movement, the dribbling, and the hold of play has been fantastic. And let's focus up now, because I don't want Neymar equalising against me. Neymar scored. Oh, that's fair play. Neymar again with the goal, boys. What have I just seen uh, Ferdinand do there? Boys, any any suggestions? There's one, three, two. It's happening. Oh, there it is. Three all. <laughs> We've done it. He's a pick out, lovely take. Oh, Lincoln's dancing on him now. Oh, that last touch, oh, get lucky. I'm sorry, but how is that not a penalty? How is that not a penalty? Oh, boys, 
Lozano, he's moved the... No way, boys. Oh my god. You ever have one of those games of FIFA when whatever you do, nothing goes your way? That was the last game I just played. So to calm my anger a little bit, we're doing the 84 plus play epic. And I'm pretty confident, after screwing me over in the last game of FIFA, EA are going to hook me up here. One out of two players, 84 plus, come on now. Seems about right. So overall, we got two goals and one assist with our man Lincoln. And I actually really enjoyed this card. Something about him in game, he's big, he's not too stocky. He's got a decent size on him, but he's also super snappy and responsive on the dribbling. The passing, the range of passes he was pulling off, the long through balls, the little short giving goes were brilliant to be fair. And most importantly, positioning. He was in the right place where I wanted to be at all times in that 4-2-3-1, in the middle cam roll, supporting Benzema, well, Pele until, you know, the loan ran out, and supporting my strikers and the players around him, creating opportunities, finishing with decent two goals with the man, didn't really have any uh, super clinical situations where he fluffed his lines or missed an easy shot or anything. Overall, a fantastic option as a free card, and... Get yourself the objective Everton if you want a nice thing into this man. I'm going to go do it right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I completely forgot Everton got a strong link into him. So it makes it even better. Anyway, if you did choose someone else from your level 30 objective, guys, let me know down below. But I'll be back tomorrow with another video, guys. So until then, take it easy.